Pick your poison. Go ahead. This is going to be mystery message. Pick a card. Okay, so pick your poison. One, two, three, uno, dos, tres. Okay, I got to be quiet. All right, bet. Let's go. Okay, power one. So this mystery message is going to be the karma for your enemies. Okay. So, or a particular enemy. So let's see who this is about. Oh, damn. <laughs> We're already getting the messages. Okay. So this is someone who is in bad health right now because they went down the wrong pathway or they tried to steal you off of your pathway. This is somebody who don't realize. Hold on. Okay, power one. So this is somebody that did not realize that this is your world and they just living in it. So this is someone that tried to steer you off of your pathway, tried to cause destruction um, when it comes to your path that you were going down and your goals. This is somebody that wants, this is the villain in your story, but they, you know, they want to be the protagonist when in reality they're the antagonist. So that's what I'm picking up on this person. Okay, this person's path is not a path like yours. All right, the lovers, this could have been a love interest as well. Or a Gemini, someone who made bad choices, the wrong choices when it came to you. This person didn't want to admit that this is the one that'll try to convince you and the world that you have main character syndrome when in reality you are the main character. The main character to the point that they tried to destroy you. If you're trying to destroy somebody, bitch, do you watch movies? Because when you're trying to destroy somebody, what the fuck does that make them? That makes them the main character in the motherfucking movie, dumb asshole. Okay? If your whole life or this whole chapter of your life is a whole plot and ploy to knock somebody off of their pivot, so you were going down a new path. You were starting something new in your life. You were pivoting. You were creating something different for yourself. And this person said, hold on. That'd be different, bitch. <laughs> Who told you you could do that? All right, let me stop you right there, okay? And the universe pulled up, nah, bitch, let me stop you right there, okay? And this person can't come towards you because they are bound to the, they're probably in a hospital bed. If they're not in a hospital bed, they, um, ooh, they could be a hypochondriac as well. So the worst part about this person being in bad health, their karma is like, they think that they are more sick than they are and it's giving them anxiety. I don't know who I was talking to, but I remember, oh, we was on live in the OnlyFans. And I was basically telling them we was talking about being a hypochondriac. Not even being a hypochondriac. We was talking about having anxiety. And when we was talking about having anxiety, we was like, we was basically saying, like, having anxiety is crazy because, you know, being a hypochondriac, they'll be like, oh, this health problem is all in your head. And, you know, you just got anxiety. But knowing that I got anxiety about something makes me have more anxiety because now I can't, I can't, it's like, oh, me thinking this, overthinking this is causing the symptoms. Well, damn, now I got to not overthink and now I'm overthinking about not overthinking. So that is, <laughs> that could be something that this person is going through. Like whatever they're in, like the bad health problem that they're having is something that they're making worse by stressing themselves out. And y'all, I am a victim of allowing stress to cause illness in my body so it is possible that that is a that is a thing for this person okay this person has to watch you be financially abundant and move on with your life as well this person wanted to stop you from getting some sort of coin that you're definitely going to get whether this person is in your life or not this person this person was banking on love to keep you stuck um she banking on me on the bank Ooh, <laughs> okay, so this person's karma is also watching you move on into a new relationship with somebody that is going to pour love into you, okay? They're like, you're going to end up with someone who's a healer. Like, both of you are healers, you and your new partner or the person that you're going to be with. This is somebody that, you know how they say, because I feel like this is probably more so a masculine energy. It could be a feminine energy as well. But you know how they be saying, like, um men that play all the women and everybody like this somebody that they dog their mama they dog the dog bitch like this person 
dog the motherfucking dog. They got dog the mama. You you don't even got to feel bad about this person trying to stop you. You ain't nothing special to this motherfucker. They treat everybody like this. You think you have a life better than mine, bitch? Destroy that shit, okay? You think you're going to have a good day around me? I'm the only person that can have a good day in this bitch. That's the type of energy that this person has. They're going to be the type of person that when they get old, they kids or whoever around them going to put their ass away in a home and nobody's going to care about them but they nurse. And the nurse may just not even give a fuck about them like that. Okay? This is someone who can end up in a hospital and have a nurse, nurses that don't do their job or don't care about them. Um, I remember I had a family member go to the hospital and we had to take them out the rehab center that they were in because at the rehab center they were in, it was known to neglect their patients. And so we couldn't leave our family member there because she was going back to ill health by being there. That's the type of situation is this person's not going to have any control over their path. And they're going to see you get married. If y'all are worried about y'all's love life and the future of y'all love life, if you'll ever find marriage and a partner that's meant for you, uh, you will. Okay? You and this person may both be two people who are kind of devious. Um, Pooh Shiesty, that's my dog. But Pooh, you know I'm really shiesty. Okay? So this is this could also be someone that tried to snake you without realizing that anything you can do, I can do better. So, bitch, you want to snake me? I'm going to snake you 10 times over myself. So in some type of way, you kind of help fuck this person up in their life and knock them off their path. But it's on some, you, sh you tried me before I tried you. So it's like... Um, two negatives make a positive like you know you are this person everything that you are and everything that you will be is this person's karma like literally seriously um and that's what they deserve so i gonna have to see you move on and if you're worried about being in a relationship in marriage i promise you when you finally end up with the person that's meant for you it's gonna be somebody that pours into your ass so beautifully like somebody that is just gonna show you so much love care you're gonna feel balanced your life is gonna feel balanced you are going to know that you are loved and this person is going to know that you're not one to be fucked with okay bitch you are not superman okay you are not batman it's kind of giving like iron man <laughs> like somebody wanted to challenge you he was like you remember when um captain america told iron man take off the suit and what are you he said he said billionaire he said genius billionaire playboy philanthropist so it's like somebody tried to take off your armor or take off of whatever they felt it was they, they took away your protection to be honest this person could have done something to try to take away your protection from your angels and spirit gods or, you know, you, like, tried to, like, beat you down while you were going through a dark night of the soul. And everything that you are is still spoke for itself. Because you never need it. You can make it with God on your side. Or you can make it without God. <laughs> I don't want to say that, child. But I'm just saying, like, you're just such a... I'm hearing such a good person, you know. And a smart person, too. And you have something in your chart. You may have, like, a Libra or Scorpio placement in your chart. Where you will always get your karma. Like, you will always get your get back without you even trying you are the bringer of karma okay i just got a whiff of this really nasty smell and it's nothing in here that stinks so this person may be the type of person where when they get older in age they're gonna need somebody to like change their diapers and shit who the fuck is that dhl what does that mean they outside our house What the fuck is DHL, y'all? They talk about Egypt since the 1800s. Like, what the fuck that mean? But that's it for this mystery message. Love is coming into your life, especially if this is somebody who is supposed to be a love interest and they decided to become your enemy instead of your lover. Somebody dropping off a package. You could get a package soon. But yeah, you're going to move on from this person with grace. You're going to move on from this person so gracefully. All right. Okay. Pile two. Who is like a current enemy? I feel like you got an enemy around you. Somebody who don't want to see you do good, baby. Okay. So I don't know what that's about. Let's see. Who's your current enemy? Somebody who's distant from you. Um, This person may even want to move close to you. Oh, this is somebody who's part of your, they're like in your community. They're part of your community, but they 
are somebody who is not from your community. They're not from where you're from. This could be a married person as well. They were married into your family or your community. Or this could be your, your husband's family, the people around your husband, especially if um, the Eight of Swords, somebody that's stuck in a head over you. The Chariot could be a Cancer. The Four of Swords. This is someone's wife or family, somebody's mother. Somebody's mother doesn't want them to marry you. It's always been their, it's, the, it's either like their mother, their grandmother. Um, it's always been some, okay, so if you know somebody from a distance who grew up with their grandfather and their mother, like their mother is somebody who has always been attached to her father, like has lived with her father, has taken care of her father. They don't want this person to be with you. Um, Cause this is someone that they take care of the men in their life. So they don't want you to, they know that you'll take care of their son. We have the Knight of Wands. The Eight of Swords again. And the Page of Cups. There's someone that loves honey. Okay. They may drink a lot. All right. Um, I don't know. They, they like to eat soup or they drink a lot of honey. This is somebody that... <sighs> they're used to okay the, this is somebody's like mother or their grandmother right they're attached to someone that you're dating or someone that you want to date this person feels like you guys would be perfect together like you'd have a beautiful marriage that you know you 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 wash clothes and clean the house you take care of the kids you cook you may even work go to work by yourself even if you don't have a job you pay all the bills you handle the legalities like you get paperwork everything You've been very sweet to this person's mother. You've been very loving to this person's mother. This is giving act like a woman, think like a man. No, wait, what's that movie? Uh, it's called Think Like a Man. Um, I think, and that's another thing too. You act like a woman and think like a man. Because I feel like this woman is used to her son being a knight of wands towards energies. So it's like, yeah, you be fucking, what did Blueface say? Um, so it's my mama fault, stupid, don't be mad at me. Mama always told me I was going to get bitches, so it's her fault, stupid, don't be mad at me. Okay, then that, then over. Make that shit clap on the gang. And you know how his mother hates Krishan? So, yeah, this is somebody that they always thought their son would be with a particular person. That they just, like, they, they, they used to, somebody's used to their son or daughter being like a hoe. So it's like, yeah, you can go out here, you can fuck with all these people, but you're not going to never, like, get this. Oh, my God. This is someone who's incestuous. You know how they say emotional incest? This is someone who's incestuous toward their son. They could have been a couple in a past life, like married to each other in a past life. This is someone where it's like, if my child is ever getting married, it's, they've, they've always been in relationships for a show just to make it look good. But at the end of the day, this is somebody that wished that they could marry somebody like their child. That could, like, they, this is somebody that literally looks in the mirror or they pose with their son and wishes that they, that was them posing with their husband. Like, I'm not lying to y'all. For real. This is a weirdo. This is a weirdo. So, this is somebody that is just like, you know, very... There's somebody that always, like, they son always come home. They do for their community. They take care of their mama. They take care of the granddad. Oh, I need this fixed. I need some money for this. I need you to go do that. This person is on it every time. They on it every time. This person will leave the party to go take care of their mom. And what's crazy is that this person knows that their family member is like this or that somebody around them, this could be a mom, a sister. It doesn't matter. You know how King Von's sister was low-key wanting to fuck the shit out of him. Like, she was always on some weird shit. Uh, how Super Peach be all up on her brother. This is somebody like that. Like, their family member is stuck in their head because they feel like this person wants to take action to come towards you. They feel like no matter what they do, the two of you are always going to end up offering each other love. Like, this person is going to keep sleeping with you and you're going to keep being sweet to them. So... Like you eat it up when this person comes around. This is weird. Let me see. Let me pull more cards because 
I don't know. Let me pull more cards real quick. And then I'm going to leave because this is like real straightforward. This is somebody that wants to have you stuck in your head. So this is somebody that'll make their child or the person that they love question you so that they don't come towards you. Then you'll get stuck in your head and you'll leave the relationship because you don't know how this person feels towards you. Okay. And it's like both of y'all and with the eight of swords, you're like, oh my God, maybe they don't like me. You're blinded to the fact that this person's sitting in a house smoking their life away thinking about you. But the only reason they didn't come towards you is because their mom told them like, think about it, bro. Is that bitch really good for you? Like, is that really somebody you want to deal with? Like, you see what they be doing? You see how they be acting? Acting like what, bitch? <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, if you, especially like if you drink, somebody's like acting like what, bitch? Living my life? Like, you're not doing anything with the page of cups. You might be really sweet too. But this is somebody that like will have someone stuck in their head about coming towards you, and so they'll get excited about coming towards you with the chariot, and then they just won't go. They won't come. You know, and this is someone that's far from you. If this is not a mom or a family member, this is literally somebody's baby mama. That's just like, we have a child together and they know this person's dad. So they use, if it's not a mom or a sister, it's like a baby mama that knows this person's father. So it's like, because they know this person's father, it's like, yeah, he be trying to go over there and he be trying to fuck with that bitch. He always cheating on me, this, that, da, 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 da. And they know how their father feel about community. And they know how their father feel about their baby mama. Like, this is somebody who they dad and their baby mama might as well go fuck each other at this point if it's not a mom and a sister this is somebody who they dad wish that they had their baby mama like they dad want to fuck with their baby mama you take Wednesday Thursdays and just send them my way think I got it covered for the weekend she turn that shit off while I get demonetized um but yeah this somebody that's like Oh, and then if it's a baby mama, this is a baby mama that's mad that you don't want to share. <laughs> this somebody that's like knight of wands. They know this person want to marry you. This person never wanted to marry their baby mama. They If they ever be in a relationship with this person, it's like we fucking bitches together. We in an open relationship. We doing whatever we want to do. This person never wanted marriage until they met you. Okay? So... This person is an enemy because they want to hold up some sort of image that's not real while you be stuck in your head over a person thinking that they don't like you when they definitely want to come towards you. So what's the outcome of this? The Eight of Pentacles and the Magician. Somebody going to manifest you anyway. And the Five of Cups because they sad without you. They want a foundation with you with the Four of Wands. Okay. But Yeah. This is somebody that's going to go out their way. They want their own foundation or they want a solid foundation with you. This person may even get tarot readings or be hipped on occult knowledge, but they're unhappy where they are. People tried to make this person feel like you were trying to force them into a lifestyle that they don't agree with. But in reality, they were happy in that lifestyle. People try to make this person feel like you just plucked them and tried to force them into marriage. <laughs> But in reality, this person may have been trying to manipulate you into having a foundation with them. Both of y'all want the same things. If anybody was manipulating anybody, it's the love interest. And now they're in regret and they're sad because they're not happy with it yet. This is the type of person where they weird ass family be like, you, they talking about marriage and shit. Now, you know, that ain't for you. You know, you don't do that. Um, you need to marry your baby mama if you're going to marry anybody. You talking about marriage. You need to marry your baby mama if you're going to marry anybody. You don't know that bitch. Y'all got kids together. Y'all got y'all got a life together. Y'all know each other. Yo, daddy be somebody's father. Oh, masculine energy could be watching this. Somebody's father be right next to them in the house, smoking, drinking, talking, having a conversation. They baby mama walk by. Your daddy is staring at that ass, boy. Your dad wants to fuck your baby mama. And he hasn't already. That's why he wants you to stay with her so bad because he wish he could have her. But you don't want her. So <laughs> go ahead, pops. That's crazy. This is a weird storyline. If this a masculine or if you the person that you got like family members this close to your relationship and shit like that, 
They don't give a fuck about you. They want you to stay stuck in a situation based off what they, they couldn't have for themselves and what they want for themselves. And how dare you go be happy with somebody that can actually change you, heal you, and make you grow when you didn't want the motherfucker that everybody else felt like was best for you. When in reality, they're not good for you at all. So that is the hidden enemy or the enemy. This ain't no hidden enemy. This is just, this is a motherfucker you don't even know. Okay, pick a card let's um let's see let's go into how three what's being hidden from you somebody really wants you to forget something that they did they hoping that you don't remember somebody's broke okay this could be a child as well like somebody needs money for you from you to take care of a child but someone's broke they want to message you because they're reading with poverty and they see how hard that you're working that's what's hidden from you um, somebody also wants you to stay in a poverty mindset. A message is coming to you. Somebody is in love with you. That's what's hidden from you. Like if you love somebody, they love you too. They just haven't been wanting to send you a message because they feel like they're not on your level. But this person sees you working hard, um, and they don't want you to be working. Somebody loves the fuck out of you and they don't like how hard you have to work either, but they feel like there's nothing they can do for you. Somebody could come from poverty as well. Um, and they feel like you understand them because you understand what it takes to... This one is good. A lot of success is coming towards you. That's something that you don't see. That's what's hidden. But a business deal as well. Somebody may want to make a business deal with you because they see that you are somebody that comes from poverty or you know that you work hard to get what it is that you want. Um, What's hidden is someone sees you for exactly who you are in a positive way. What's hidden is the karmic justice that you are getting that you don't see. So I feel like you're getting justice for um, somebody. What's hidden is somebody knows that they're broke because it's karma for what they've done to you uh, or what they said to you. But somebody may have sent you a letter in the mail. That's something that's hidden from you as well. Or you have a message on your phone or you will very soon. You need to check it because I feel like someone did message you. They messaged you while you were working. So, yeah, y'all may have a message from the person that you love, but you were too busy working. So you haven't seen it yet. Or you are too busy working. So you haven't seen it yet. That's what's hidden from you. New love is coming into your life. And I feel like this is a love that will, you know, balance the scales for you. This is a love that will give you revenge on those who have hurt you. What's hidden is how somebody watches you work. Somebody watches you slave away, toil away, um, and they don't. They they want to see you be do, like do good. They want to see the burdens that you're experiencing fall off of you. They want to see you be happy. Like seriously, so, like seriously. <laughs> okay, I was watching Kim Possible last night. So what's hidden is that would it be you and I never imagined. Would it be suddenly I'm falling for you? <laughs> Would it be you were right there beside me? And I never knew. Could it be that it's true that it's you? If you have a genuine platonic relationship with a friend of yours, a masculine energy, um, could it be that y'all are meant to be together? That your new love is someone that was always right there beside you all along? Could it be? Okay. <laughs> impossible and rod stoppable you might love somebody for who they are even though they don't feel like they're good enough for you okay so yeah that's so sad someone feels like they're not good enough for you but you know they're starting to like they're trying to get to the place they're trying to get to a point where they can work as hard as you you know that they can focus on work the type of work that you're focused on or focus on themselves the way that you focus on yourself but first they have to work on mindset their mindset is ridden with poverty okay and if this is you you have to do the work to fix your mind to grow within your mind like your mindset could be like stricken with poverty um it could be a poverty mindset a struggle mindset feeling like you can't have certain things feeling like you'll be stressed out forever or that you don't you are doomed for the worst 
but that is something that's going to put you in a place where that is all you will receive is the worst so you can't have that type of poverty mindset you have to have a mindset of knowing that things will work out in your favor things will go good for you that things will come into fruition for you get your ass over here okay so yeah those are the two things that I'm seeing hidden from you is that as you change your mindset and you balance your mindset, you will start to see a lot of success come into your life. I feel like you're going to be doing work that you love. So um, it's not going to feel like work for you. And I also feel like you are coming out of poverty or you will if you have been stuck in poverty. You just don't see you don't see all your burdens falling away, but they are. You don't see the success that is ahead of you, but it is. You feel like you're dreaming of success while you're actually actively swimming in it right now. OK, you're almost to that that private island, that oasis. Um, yeah. Yeah. So you don't see a new love connection like you and someone starting up a love connection where you guys never thought that you would be there with each other. Um, especially if somebody is a king of wands type of energy, they kind of spread themselves thin in terms of love. This is someone that would drop all their burdens for you, which I mean all the hoes like this person feels like if they are not getting where they want to be financially, a part of that is because of the people that they surround themselves with, aka, you know, lovers. And this person is tired of having intense emotions for you that they feel like they can't do anything about. They are ready to do something about it. They are ready to, like, somebody is ready to approach you and take action towards you. And I feel like you and the success that you have has motivated this person to believe that they can be successful as well which is a part of what has made them fall in love with you. So if somebody is like wanting to get intertwined with you business wise, they don't just want a business relationship. They want to love you. This person loves you. I don't think you realize that you and someone are definitely like, you work so much that you don't realize that you love someone as much as they love you. Okay. So I don't, this is literally like the only reason a relationship is platonic is because Y'all ain't never put y'all lips on each other. <laughs> y'all ain't never, like, really stared into each other's eyes. Like, two people are, like, the type of people to... This could be even at your workplace. Like, y'all so busy st stocking shelves and stacking boxes that y'all ain't never sat there long enough to really stare in into each other's eyes and be like, you know, you trying to fuck? Like, I don't... <laughs> I hope something doesn't happen like that. It might, <laughs> but somebody is seriously like holding in their urge to see, to see what would happen <laughs> if they just, I keep hearing put their mouth on you. So y'all might have like a real Disney moment where somebody's just like, I, I want to kiss you and I have to kiss you. Okay. That's what's in it from you is that somebody wants to explore a new love situation with you. If you already feel like you're in love with somebody and you've just been working hard, what's hidden is that this person is intimidated by your se your success and they want to feel like they're on your level to come towards you, but they tired of that because they are starting to get burdened by the energy, the, like how they feel towards you. And so they're ready to just reach out and balance the situation. They want success with you, okay? A lot of success and work and a lot of success and love, but in a way where you had never saw it coming. So that is it for pile three. Okay, Ohana, how did Carla do? Mm, they feel like you're childish, okay? This person may want to have a child with you, so if you like don't wanna have a child that hurt their feelings. Oh, they feel like this is something that needs to end or needs to stay ended. Or things are over between the two of you this person could have lost a child if they lost a child with you that's something that really hurt them this person feels like you you need to change they want you to change they want you to put an ending to i'm hearing what they perceive to be your childish ways This is really like, it's giving ending of cycles because we have nine, 10, nine. So this person feel like a cycle has ended and in order for it to come like, so this, this is what's needed for change. The two of pentacles, they feel like you're very stable. You have a nice body. Some of y'all could be um, 
you could do ballet, be a ballerina, or do yoga. This person feels like you're a very well-balanced person, and they love how defined your body is. The Two of Swords Reverse. I think this person feels like they have made a decision. Well, or that you have made a decision. Maybe if this person sees you being balanced without them, they feel like you have decided to move on. And then we have the lovers. It's all about a choice being made. It's all about a choice being made. I think somebody, I don't think, I think somebody wants to convince themselves that you are a child so that they don't have to feel no type of way. They don't want to wait on this anymore. This person feels like they're waiting on you. Oh, you know what this person is going through right now? <laughs> They're going through the, the like the five stages of grief. They like in that stage where it's like, you know, I knew I didn't need that person in my life. The person's childish, you know. I got this baddie over here is trying to fuck with me. I'm choosing you. I can't deal with that childish person. I'm not finna wait forever and you don't know what you want. Okay? So yeah, this is like and then we have the sun card reverse, which makes me feel like this person is not being honest with themselves. This person feels like you're beautiful, but they're not going to sit around and wait on you to play with them. I don't know how this person feels. They got me stressed out. And then we got the nine of wands. They feel beat up by this situation. Okay. That's why they're so defensive towards you. They feel like really beat up about this situation. They feel like you didn't fight for them. So why would they fight for you? And then we have the devil reverse. Don't you know that you're toxic? And this person feels like you're toxic as hell. That you're egotistical. You don't care about nobody but yourself. But this sounds like somebody that's hurt. This somebody that will sit with the next bitch and tell them this about you. <laughs> this person is like hurt. Tell them that this is a person that will sit with the next bitch and be like, I don't want no childish shit. If you fuck with me, you fuck with me. Don't be trying to change me. Don't be trying to do this. Don't be trying to do that. Make sure you got your shit together. Uh, you want kids? Like, somebody is, like, hurt by you. Wow. So, this is how real love feels like. This person never really been in love until they met you. This person feels like things are over. You are the only one who manages to calm down my inner. That's supposed to say beast. And when I'm sad, I look at your pictures and feel much better. This person don't. They miss you. They look at your pictures and smile, but and then they shake it off and they convince themselves, I ain't trying to deal with this bitch no more. Maybe they really are done with you and your bullshit. Let me see. Maybe they really are. This is a short little Ohana reading, but this is how a very specific person, a Leo, could feel about you. A Leo or a Gemini could feel about you right now. And this could be somebody that you cut off. So they're trying to convince themselves that they cut you off. This is someone that you shared um, a family with, a home with, or y'all was in a legit partnership. This person feels like you didn't choose them. Like if you're in a relationship with somebody else, they're trying to convince themselves that they okay with that. I, I'm not gonna, I, I feel like this person still loves you. The Seven of Cups. This is someone that has options, but they don't really see the depth there. This person is toxic. If you toxic, they toxic too. They don't have the options that they think they have. This is somebody that texts five bitches and none of them hit them back up. So they just laying in the bed all day waiting for a move. But they'd rather, they'd rather wait around for bitches that don't like them than to convince themselves that they actually like you. The Page of Pentacles, they waiting for you to reach out. This person feels lonely without you. And with the Ace of Stories reverse, they feel like you cut off the contract when they trying to, and they don't want to cut on the communication. So that's how they currently feel about you. That you, bitch, you hurt my feelings. I ain't even had no ways of dealing with it. Talk to another nigga, got both of our feelings missing. The other day I slipped in, almost called you one of my other bitches. <laughs> <laughs> like if this person didn't care about you they wouldn't feel the need to talk about how much they don't care about you that's how this person feeling they hurt you hurt their feelings and they're dealing with it the best way they know which is to convince themselves that they rejected you okay so that is it for this pick a card bye, -bye.